Well, back at it again with another GIMP and resynthesizer updates. Per usual, this update is long overdue. But the good news is this installation is the easiest one yet. I've put a good bit of effort into modifying some of these files so that all you have to do is click and drag a few files over to complete the installation. Additionally, I have this post titled 2024, even though it is 2025, because GIMP has just released GIMP 3.0, and this fix does not work with GIMP 3.0. GIMP 3.0 has a good bit of changes in it, and I haven't been able to get the resynthesizer plugin working with GIMP 3.0. However, this fix is a very easy install, and it is for GIMP 2.10, the latest version of GIMP 2.10, which is optimized for Apple Silicon. So you should be able to see a good bit of speed up with this Apple Silicon optimized GIMP versus my last video, which was restricted to an older version of GIMP that was not optimized for Apple Silicon. Whenever I can get the resynthesizer plugin working with GIMP 3.0, I'll save the 2025 title for that video. A little bit of backstory, I originally was having difficulties installing the resynthesizer plugin back in 2021, managed to figure things out, and I put a video up with a good bit of response from the community. Uh, someone even reached out recommending an easier way to perform the installation, so I put out an updated video in 2022. After that, GIMP had released separate versions of GIMP for Apple Silicon and for Macs running with Intel processors. And this broke my installation method. But I've now found a way to install the resynthesizer plugin with the latest version of GIMP 2.10. And so while we're not gonna be able to get things working with GIMP 3, this will at least get us working with the latest version of 2.10 on Apple Silicon. So let's jump in. So I'm basically going to be just following the installation steps from my website. So here's the post that I'm going to be referencing, how to install the resynthesizer plugin for GIMP on Macs with Apple Silicon 2024. Step one is we're going to need to re remove old versions of GIMP. And to do that, all we need to do is drag You go to the Applications folder and drag GIMP to the trash. And there you go. GIMP is uninstalled. Next, we need to download and install the latest version of GIMP 2.10. And I have a direct link to that on my website. And the file will be called GIMP 2.10.38 arm64-1.dmg. So once that is downloaded, we can just go to our downloads folder and double click on it. This will bring up the mounting of the image. Click and drag that back into the applications folder. It'll take a few seconds to transfer. And boom, the installation is complete. And as a sanity check, let's go back into the applications folder and you can double click on it to open it up. So here we are, GIMP 2.10.38, revision one. And if we go to the filters, enhance, we see that there is no heel selection, so it is not installed currently. So let's quick GIMP, and we can go through with the steps of installing the resynthesizer plugin. There's two ways to install the resynthesizer plugin. The way that I did it was I installed the resynthesizer plugin via Mac ports. This is a little more technical. It will take a little bit longer to build the resynthesizer plugin from source. It'll take up a little bit more space on your hard drive due to the libraries that need to be downloaded and installed and built. So 
There's nothing wrong with doing this. It's very easy to do. It should be very easy to do. All you'll run is sudo port install gimp dash resynthesizer, and that will install the plugin for you. I did have difficulties doing that on one of my Macs, and I talk about that in this readme on a GitHub repo that I made. So in here, I go into more detail about some of the errors that I had. So the easiest way for you to install the resynthesizer plugin is I built it using Mac ports, and I took all those files, I put them onto a GitHub repo, and you're just gonna download those files, copy them into your GIMP plugins folder, and you should be good to go. I had to make a few tweaks to those files because they include all of the dependencies and all the libraries, and they assume that MacPort's installation libraries and whatnot is going to be available, and it's not because you guys aren't using MacPorts. So I had to make sure all the dependencies were included, all the dependencies, dependencies, and dependencies, 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 and so on and so forth. So I had to make sure all those were included, and I had to tell them, don't look for your dependencies in the Mac ports folder, they're not gonna be there. They're going to be in the resynthesizer library folder that I'm including in my repo. So again, I have a, a longer explanation of, of everything that I just talked about in more detail on my GitHub repo, so you're welcome to read that if you'd like some, some more information. This file will be called the repo creation.md. So you'll be able to see how I changed the library paths that the resynthesizer looks for. All right, so like I said, I made a GitHub repo for this, and that's we'll, where we will be downloading these files from. It is called GIMP Resynthesizer for ARM on Mac. There's additional information in the README and the README references, some other Readmes. But the moral of the story is, if you go over to this releases section over here, you'll find basically whenever I get something working for a version of GIMP, I will make a release for it. And then you guys can download the release and, and use that. So as of right now, I only have a release for 2.10.38 revision 1. So this release is only for that GIMP version, and that is the version of GIMP that we installed. This is the latest version of 2.10. So there's some installation steps here, but basically you'll download this zip file, and we'll have to unzip the folder and copy all the files to applications, GIMP, contents, resources, lib, GIMP, 2.0, plugins. Let's go to our downloads. Here is our unzipped folder now, and we will need to copy these into this location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab over here, and then Command-Shift-G will let us go to a specific folder, so we can just copy in a folder path instead of having to navigate to it ourselves. So I will copy this. And then I will go to paste and press enter. So now we are in the GIMP plugins folder. And all we have to do is copy all of these files. And then I'm going to press command V and that will paste all of my files into this plugins folder. A little messy, but that's the way it works. So now, effectively, your resynthesizer plugin is installed. So we can now open GIMP. All right, now that GIMP is open, we can just drag in an image here. And here's a random image of your 2023 NBA champion Denver Nuggets. So say 
you want to remove this guy from the picture. This is what the resynthesizer plugin is for. So we'll go to Enhance, Heal Selection, and A, we see it there now, which is a great sign, and B, pressing OK, actually resynthesizes. So, difficult picture and location for the resynthesizer plugin to remove, but it does a, a pretty decent job. So that's it. Go to the releases section of my GitHub page, find the release that matches your current GIP version, follow the instructions in the release. Basically, you'll download a zip file, extract that zip, and then copy those files to your GIMP plugin folder. And that should be all that you need to do to install the resynthesizer plugin on GIMP 2.10. As I mentioned in my previous resynthesizer video, you can manually recreate a lot of what the resynthesizer plugin does using the heal and clone tools. I have an example of that in my previous video. It's definitely a little more tedious, but it's an option. I'm sure you can find some similar, even better tutorials of using the heal and clone tool for that online. Additionally, if you're looking for how to use the resynthesizer plugin for GIMP on a Mac. If you have a Mac, all Macs come with Apple's Photos app, and the Photos app has a cleanup functionality that will effectively do the same thing that the resynthesizer does, if not even better sometimes. So let me show you how to use that. Here is the same photo that we just use the resynthesizer plugin on and if we go to edit on this photo and then clean up it will download a local AI model to do this cleanup for us and once it is done It'll give you some suggestions of where it thinks you might want to clean up. And for us, we can just tap on what we want to clean up, that dude. And there you go. Pretty quick and arguably a much better job than what the resynthesizer plugin did. So keep that in your arsenal. You could effectively export whatever you're working on from GIMP to Apple Photos app, you can do this cleanup, then import it back into GIMP. So you, you can do that, and also now you can have GIMP 3.0 installed, whatever GIMP version you want, and you can rely on the Apple Photos app for the cleanup or resynthesizing. This functionality is also available in the Photos app of newer iPhones in certain regions. So you can clean up a photo on your iPhone before having to import it into the Photos app on your Mac. And if, if you don't have an iPhone or a Mac, not sure what you're doing watching this, but thanks for your service. If you have a Google Pixel, Google also has a magic eraser option that can do effectively the same thing. Um, or if you don't have a Pixel, but you have Google Photos with a paid tier, they will let you use this magic eraser as well. If you have a Samsung phone, they also have their own object eraser type deal where it's, it's a very similar thing. So those are other options and alternatives to the resynthesizer plugin that should you have issues installing it, you can explore those. Thanks for watching. I hope this is able to get your resynthesizer plugin back up and running. If so, the best way to say thanks is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, or following my socials. If I have any fixes to the resynthesizer GIMP issues, that's where I'll be posting updates. If you're still having issues with your resynthesizer plugin, feel free to comment below, or I have a Discord server that you're welcome to leave messages in as well. So view that 
I'll do my best to help you out. Lastly, if you couldn't tell, a little under the weather this week, just like my boy, Jamal Murray. But have no fear, Jamal and myself, we're still both operating at a very high level. These two performing at a very high level. Game seven today, go Nuggets. Going on inside, just to name a couple. I battle with one in pride and a persistent struggle, a reoccurring huddle, a prayer meeting with me and the Holy Spirit, feeling free. But no, I'm nowhere near it. But thank God for His conviction. The awful part of me that made these others a suspicion. And call me